Automation is becoming an increasingly important feature of agricultural production, so much that it is now being favored over manual systems. As the reach of automation continues to grow, so do the implications for owners, managers, and employees. Worldwide, we're going to need to produce uh, 75, 80, 100 percent more food by the year 2050. And that means we've got to be efficient. Uh, the probability is we're going to have uh, less resources to do it with. Uh, we're going to have to take what we have and produce this much extra food. I look back to where we have come from uh, 100 years ago, 125 years ago. We were subsistence farmers in North Carolina. Uh, we looked after our family, we fed them, and, and we had some crops that helped us educate our children. Uh, now we produce food for 155 people, every farm does. So we're going to have to in increase that, and it's going to come a lot through technology, innovation, and agricultural research. Uh, in the future, too, if, even if we can produce that food supply that's needed, we've got to produce it at a price that people can afford. Today's manager can now exercise control over inputs and resource use. This ability opens the way to a more cost-effective, productive, and environmentally sustainable agriculture. When we're able to do innovation and make things more efficient, you know, that puts us one step up. And we've got to stay one step up if we're going to maintain these world markets that we have now. So it's, it's not only the investment and, and the production end of it, the packing end of it, but all kinds of innovations in the future are going to be needed to keep us in a world market. So when we use technology and innovation like this, uh, it makes it much easier to advance into the future. With a history as rich as its soil, Scott Farms, located in Lucama, North Carolina, dates back to the late 1800s, when farmers in the area primarily raised tobacco. My family has been in the farming business for five generations. Farming is no different than any other business. We have to continue to find ways to be more efficient. We have to find ways to satisfy and provide for our customers a product that they want and need uh, at an affordable price. We try to do everything that we possibly can to be as efficient as we possibly can be. We have a responsibility to the employees of Scott Farms to provide them a good workplace. Today, the Scott's family farming operation includes about 12,000 acres on sandy loam soils, which is known as being the best soil for growing top quality sweet potatoes and tobacco. The Scott Farms, we grow a, a number of different crops. We grow sweet potatoes, uh, tobacco, corn, soybeans, and wheat. Uh, automation is extremely important in our operation. It has allowed us to do a number of different things better, more efficiently, while still maintaining quality. Automation is, is a centerpiece of everything that we do. The farm is a leader in the community, using automation technology and steadfast food safety measures to guide them to the forefront of the industry. Food safety uh, is, is really a way of thinking at Scott Farms. Uh, we think about food safety every day in everything we do from, from field production all the way to finished product. We're a big believer in food safety and at Scott Farms we've, uh, we've invested in food safety at an early stage. Using a unique process of curing sweet potatoes in environmentally controlled facilities, the farm yields a near field quality product for up to one year after harvest. The automation that Scott Farm uses to produce their sweet potatoes produces a consistent quality pack size, no blemishes, no mispicks. This saves the chefs at our restaurants time from picking through the potatoes and saves us money by not having to throw away potatoes that aren't the quality that we need. The quality and consistency of these sweet potatoes makes it so that when we make a recipe with the sweet potatoes one week, it tastes the exact same the following week. This consistency is something our customers are looking for um, in our dishes day in and day out. Scott Farms believes that growing in quantity doesn't mean you have to sacrifice quality. With the same attention to detail and customer service as always, the farm continues to grow, innovate, and move forward without losing anything along the way. 
The international market, specifically the European uh, market, is a major part of our customer base at Scott Farm. And funny enough, you know, our introduction into the international marketplace was really a little bit of an accident. Um, you know, it wasn't an area that we were specifically targeting, but I happened upon a chance meeting with an individual, uh, began to dabble a bit into that marketplace, UK specifically, and, and that has grown into a massive market for not just Scott Farms, but the sweet potato industry as a whole. 20 years ago, the sweet potatoes were regarded as an exotic food in the UK, uh, virtually unheard of on the rest of the continent. Uh, with a lot of work done by Scott Farms and a number of different industries in educating consumers on sweet potatoes. Today, in many areas, sweet potatoes are regarded as as much of a, a staple food as just most other vegetables that we consume here. While embracing the future, Scott Farms never forgets to look back. The family takes pride in their heritage, which runs deep in the community. The future of Scott Farms is in our youth and in our employees. Scott Farms, like any other business, must be competitive and forward thinking to continue to make our business as efficient as it possibly can. For more information, visit www.scottfarms.com.